I wanted to do something very special, but I was unable to do it, but I want to make reference to it as I give this black history remembrance of, on the last day of February. I think black history is a 12 month event and it's, it's, it's yearly, not just about one month, which is the shortest month of the year. So the, the, Congress, the, the, the Legislative Black Caucus, the Kentucky Legislative Black Caucus every year does a, a black history program in the rotunda. Because of COVID-19, we were not able to do it this year. And what we did is we did it virtual. And I would refer all of you to YouTube to look at the, the 2021 Kentucky Black Caucus Legislative, the, the Legislative Black Caucus Black History event. It is absolutely awesome. Senator Gerald Neal did an outstanding job of, of producing it. And I, I want to make reference to, and what I want to do today is to talk about Lift Every Voice and Sing. It, is, it became the Negro National Anthem. And Kentucky State University's choir did an outstanding job. If you have any emotion in you and you understand anything about the God's gift that got us to where we are, it will bring out the emotion in you. So I would encourage all members to listen to the, the Black History Program and pay close attention to Lift Every Voice and Sing. I want to give some history about that song. Lift Every Voice and Sing, often referred to as the Black National Anthem in the United States, is a hymn written as a poem by James Weldon Johnson in 1900 and set to music by his brother, John Rosamond Johnson, for the anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birthday in 1905. He also wrote it in recognition of, of, of Frederick Douglass, who also was born in February. As time went on, the song became something that, that, that I think makes all the difference in the world. And I will not try to sing it for you. <laughs> no, 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 I, I will not try. I cannot do it anywhere close to justice. But, but, <laughs> but what I would like to do, if you all will bear with me, is to speak to the poem, the poetic aspect of Lift Every Voice and Sing. I would like for each of you to pay very close attention to the lyrics and, and, and incorporate this into your being of understanding the struggle. Well, actually the victory, the struggle, and the faith that got people of color over in this diaspora called America. The first verse, lift every voice and sing till earth and heaven ring. Ring with the harmonies of liberty. Let our rejoicing rise high as the listening skies. Let it resound loud as the rolling sea. Sing a song full of the faith that the dark past has taught us. Sing a song full of the hope that the present has brought us. Facing the rising sun of our new day begun, let us march on till victory is won. The second verse speaks of the struggle. And I, I would call your attention to the words and the pain that is in the second verse. Stony the road we trod, bitter the chastening rod. Felt in the days when hope unborn had died. Yet with a steady beat have not our weary feet come to the place for which our fathers sighed. We have come over a way that with tears has been watered. We have come treading our path through the blood. We have come treading our path through the blood of the slaughter. Out from the gloomy past till now we stand at last where the white gleam of our bright star is cast. The third verse speaks to the faith. And it was only faith. It was only our having our hand in God's hand that people of color were able to come through that heinous institution called chattel slavery. God of our weary years, God of our silent tears, 
thou who has brought us thus far on the way. Thou who has by thy might led us into the light. Keep us forever in the path, we pray. Lest our feet stray from the path, our God, where we met thee. Lest our hearts, drunk with the wine of the world, we forget thee. Shadowed beneath thy hand, may we forever stand. I want you to remember these last two lines. True to our God, true to our native land. Thank you very much for listening, and happy, happy Black History Month. And thank you all for your cooperation and your attention.